Hello, and welcome to a demonstration of PolyAnalyst. Today I will show you how you can obtain actionable results in less than 10 minutes. This demo is geared for repeated data, such as annual employee surveys or monthly reports. I am using an example data set of employee surveys. Now, we will perform three types of data cleansing. First, I will use a Modify Columns node to discard unwanted data columns. In this example, I will discard Job Role and Job Type. Second, I will use a Filter Rows node to remove null responses in the Write-In Feedback column, which is the main focus of my analysis. The last cleansing I will do today is to run the spell check node with its default settings. The spell check node does not automatically replace your data, but it does give you the option to generate a data set with the suggested replacements. After cleaning, I will prepare my data for analysis. First, I will connect an index node which will internally organize my data into a structure that later nodes can reference. Now I will move on to the analysis. For today's example, I will base my analysis on two nodes, taxonomy and sentiment analysis. I'll start with a taxonomy node. Since today's demo is not focusing on how to make taxonomies, here I am using one which I have already created for this dataset, which simulates reusing taxonomies for similar data. After executing and entering the node view, you can see that a taxonomy is basically a way to sort your data into hierarchical categories. As illustrated here, the taxonomy and all other nodes in PolyAnalyst have drill down capabilities which allow you to see which data the node is working on. Within the taxonomy, you can also view the distribution of your data across categories. For more information on how to create taxonomies, please refer to the manual. Next, I will connect a sentiment analysis node, which I will run on my main data column. After executing the sentiment analysis node, I can go into the node view and generate a dataset, which will incorporate the results of the sentiment analysis node with my original dataset by adding additional columns. Returning back to the results of the taxonomy node, I will place a score taxonomy node in order to add the top three categories from the taxonomy to my data. Like sentiment analysis, this works by appending additional data columns with the information I select. In this example, I will include the top three levels of the taxonomy as topics, subtopics, and details. The final step before visualization is to join the datasets with the results of the taxonomy and sentiment analysis nodes. To do this, I use a join node and select my primary dataset as left. In the first tab, I will use the employee ID columns in both datasets to match up the records. In the column selection tab, I will include all of the columns from the taxonomy or left dataset and only evaluation from the sentiment analysis dataset. Finally, I will visualize the results of my analysis. To examine patterns in sentiment by employee tenure, I will use an area chart. I make tenure, the x-axis column, and type, which is the name of the sentiment column, the splitting column. Inside, we can see that there is more negative than positive feedback, and in particular, Employees that have been with a company for less than one year are more positive than employees that have been with a company longer. Next, we'll look at sentiment by department with a traditional bar chart. I will make the department's column the x-axis and again, the sentiment column will be my splitting column.
Looking in the node, we can see that the ratio of positive to negative feedback across the departments is relatively consistent. Even still, we see that HR has a higher negative to positive sentiment ratio than other departments. Off the join node, I will connect a link analysis node to visualize the relationship between departments and sex. Looking into the node, I find the small play button, which will organize the results in a more intuitive way. Doing so will show me that there is a clear separation between the sexes. The more forward-facing departments, like HR and sales, are primarily female, while the back-end departments, like accounting and analytics, are majority male. Since studies show benefits from workplace diversity, Perhaps this company should look into a more balanced mix of male and female in its departments. Also off the join node, I will attach a tree map node to visualize sentiment by manager. For the hierarchy column, I select manager, and I use the sentiment column for both the area and color parameters. I can see that the employees of certain managers are much more positive overall than others. Additionally, I can see that the responses corresponding to some managers are overwhelmingly negative. One outcome from today's analysis is that the company now knows to investigate why some managers have very negative employee responses. The second to last node I will include in today's demo is the OLAP table which will allow me to examine the relationship between sex, sentiment, and topics. When I open up the node view, I run across a second menu where I specify how I want to explore the relationships in the data. I choose topics for the columns, sex for the rows, and sentiment for the pages. The first view shows the data in a table. For a more intuitive read of the data, I navigate to the chart view tab and can see the responses for males and females across topics. By choosing negative from the drop-down menu, I can see topics that have spikes in negative responses, such as client relationship. Finally, I will attach a parallel coordinates node to look at sentiment by topics in a different way. I choose the sentiment column as a splitting criterion and the selected columns as topics. Additionally, I choose a radar graph from the drop down menu under the Options tab. In the node view, I can see that some topics, like leadership, are overwhelmingly positive, while others, like client relationship, are primarily negative. Using an analysis like this one is a good way to identify your company's best practices, improvement areas, or topics for future investigation. In today's demo, we have used PolyAnalyst to identify best practices and actionable results in less than 10 minutes. PolyAnalyst can be used in a similar way to quickly pinpoint major discussion topics in any live data stream in near real time, such as on your company's feedback page. Thanks for watching, and please contact Megaputer Intelligence with questions or if you would like additional information about the power of PolyAnalyst.